Hey guys and girls, Wester here. Hey, I've just created this um, paint quoting spreadsheet and I've done a lot of formulas and bits and pieces in it and I've even created a button to um, clear data that you put in with one click rather than having to go down once you've filled it all. Um, okay, so what I want to do is um, I want to show you how to protect the sheet or the area of the sheet so that people can't tamper with the data you don't want them to play with so they can edit with it where they need to but they can't touch where they don't where you don't want them to delete any formulas or cells or information okay so the easiest way to do that is I'm kind of assuming that everything's normal in your Excel so you haven't been playing with anything on the protecting side so okay so what we've got to do is select the areas that we want to Uh, users to actually access which is kind of backwards but anyway that's how you do it so we're going to hold down control and then left click and drag to the, across the cells you want people to to be able to edit I've got drop, la drop list on this side here below all of these ones here so I want to hold down control and select those drop lists and I want them to edit there be able to edit there I also want them to be able to edit in this column here Um, I also want them to e also want them to edit these two lines here right down to here also these ones here because there's another drop down list I'll put in here um, plus I want them to add into this cell here so you can control and click in the particular cell rather than rather than um, just continue dragging around the place. Um, I want to select these two columns and this drop down list section here I've created. The slot here. These two lines here. And that cell. these two here and this set of drop lists here I want this one cell I want these two columns here and this drop down list here same again here okay so that's it just carefully go up and double check to make sure that you've got everything that you want yes I have okay I'm pretty happy with that and now you right click on any of the selected cells and you go to format cells and go to protection and unlock these two options here and then OK and then go into review tab at the top and then click on protect sheet um, usually both of these boxes here are ticked so unselect so deselect the top one select lock cells leave select unlocked cells um, ticked and then go OK so now you can't click on any of these cells over here none of the none of these bits and pieces here but I can select and edit any of these so like walls 4 by 3 or 6 fills in my chart as I wish and then I can clear it as well this has got an error anyway um, anyway so that's how you do that so that's how you protect your worksheet so, so I should be able to Put in okay. I've got seven, I'll say six or five um, hallway doors. Um, so, yeah, you can add, I can add anything. I can select now, select these drop down lists for what I, whatever I want to put in here, but I can't select any of the, the hard data that I didn't want to be touched. Okay, I can add doors in if I wish. Um, I can add in my 
my door width. And the door height, etc. etc. Um, yeah, so that's how you do it, guys and girls. Thanks for watching.